Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin if you are new here and today I'm going to be sharing a decor video. But instead of sharing a haul of things that I have purchased brand new this season already, I want to take you guys and show you all of the decor that I already have. And I bet if you're like me that you probably have a few totes, at least one tote full, if not more, of Christmas decor in your garage or your attic or your basement or somewhere. And so my encouragement to you is before you let all of the YouTube Christmas hauls kind of pull you in to go buy more and before you go and shop around at Hobby Lobby and at Target and just start grabbing things, look and see what you have on hand because what you already have is probably already really beautiful and they're probably pieces that you really do love because we wouldn't have bought them in the first place there's also probably pieces that you're just kind of ready to let go of and now is the perfect time to list those on facebook marketplace or on um, any kind of swap groups that you're a part of just to let them go and sell those so then you can make a little bit of money to go buy a new piece or two or three or whatever you whatever you want for this christmas so before I shop for any season, I always like to pull down my decor bins and see what I already have. So today I'm just going to walk you through my very favorite pieces that I have in my decor bins. I'm going to show you um, what I will definitely be using for this Christmas. And then I'm going to also walk you through a few things that I know I definitely want to add this Christmas. So I do set a budget for myself. I know how much I want to spend on different seasonal decor and I stick to it. And usually that budget is based off of what I sell. So let's get started and I'm going to show you what we already have for this Christmas. I'm gonna start with the Christmas trees because that's one of my favorite things. I do decorate in a very, especially for Christmas, a very kind of classic colors. Um, I'm not super traditional. I don't like a lot of bright colors, but I do like to add in those natural greens and then some pops of that like really rich red. And that's my favorite Christmas look. I really think that's what I'm gonna love forever. I also do mix in some non seasonal decor and I add in just little hints of Christmas to those so that I don't have to feel like I constantly have to buy more and reinvent the wheel. So my regular decor is definitely more farmhouse and I do decorate in a very minimal style. I will leave a link down below to a few of my decorating videos so that you guys can kind of get a feel for how I do decorate. It's very, I like to call it minimal farmhouse. So that's just where we're at. So let's get started with this video. Obviously none of this has been fluffed. It's all been kind of in storage. I do have this Christmas tree. This thing is pretty big. I'd say it's like two, two and a half feet tall. So this will definitely be going in my Christmas decor this year. I've had this for about three years and I don't have a tag on it, so I'm not sure where it's from, but I'm pretty sure it was one of those like Home Goods, TJ Maxx finds that, you know, was probably like 10 or $12, like a really good deal. I have a couple little trees like this. I'm pretty sure this is a Target dollar spot. So I will probably use this somewhere. If I don't use it in my main living space, then I like to add a few of these little touches to my kids' rooms, so. I also have, I think, three. I have a few different sizes of these trees, and these were from Walmart a couple years ago, and they were super affordable. So I'm not a huge fan of the red bow, but I always like to tie my own ribbons around there so it just kind of hides that anyways. So there's those. I have several of those. And then this is from Hobby Lobby, and I feel like they have this every year. <laughs> so this is just one of those little trees with the pine cones and it looks like fake snow. I also have several Christmas signs. So this one is from the Target Dollar Spot a few years ago. This one is from Kirkland's maybe, maybe three years ago. I really love the red trucks. I know they're probably going out of style. I really don't care. I will still use it. <laughs> this is one of my favorite signs. This is from Kirkland's and it's the Silent Night lyrics. So, and this was $15.99 and I want to say that I got this two or three years ago. And then I also love this one. It says, go and tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. I also have several of these little, I think they're called bottle brush, bottle brush trees. 
I have several here in a bag. So those will be kind of scattered about. I think those are really good on like tiered trays or if you just need like a little pop of Christmas somewhere. I feel like these are perfect for that. I also have, and I will share a picture of it with you guys. Um, I have my grandma's, it belonged to my grandma so it's super old. It's her little Christmas village. I love my Christmas village. I realize it probably looks super dated. I don't care. I'm going to put it up for the rest of my life because it reminds me of my grandma. So those types of things, again, I just love the nostalgia of having decor that you bring out every single year. And my kids know now, they're like, mom, where's the Christmas village? Where's the Christmas village? And that's what I want. That's what I want for them. I want them to know that like, and have the story tied to it. I want them to know that these pieces belong to special family members that we love, that we still love, even though they're not with us anymore. And we can kind of bring those memories back alive in our decor. And I feel like that's the most special part of all. It's not trying to go to hobby. Hobby Lobby or Target or Home Goods or any of these other stores and spending hundreds of hundreds of dollars. It is bringing family together and remembering the reason for the season, which is Christ. And it's really decorating your home with the pieces that you love and not necessarily all this stuff. All right, off my soapbox now. So let's keep going. I also have this. This is my manger for my nativity. I will show you my nativity here too. I love this. I got this at Hobby Lobby several years ago. I love this. I feel like it's nice and neutral and classic and it will last forever. I also grabbed, you know, I think this was like three years ago when these things started getting popular in the Target dollar spot. The little houses, I really do love them. I feel like you can use these year round, but I do keep them with my Christmas stuff. So we always put a little light in these and then set them around our house. This always gets put out. My children look forward to this because we fill it with candy canes and they love it. So this is a special thing. I love this green color. This is kind of my favorite Christmas color, honestly. I used to be such a red person and I think that I have kind of transitioned over to more of this green with just little pops of red because I feel like this is almost more of a neutral. So you have to let me know, do you guys love this green color or do you love red more or do you decorate in kind of non-traditional colors for Christmas? Let me know in the comments below. This was one of my very few ads last year to my collection of Christmas decor. And this is from, I believe this was part of the Hearth and Hand line. This I will probably put on my bed for Christmas this year. I really love, like again, I love that green. I love that like natural look. It's a nice neutral, but still definitely very Christmas. Okay, I have another little sign. This would be good for a tiered tray. I also have several like greenery pine cone type items that I will use. I might use some in my bread bowl this year. We will see. I have tons of these berries. I got these picks probably three or four years ago and I love to add these to different of my natural greenery that I have in my house already. I like to add just little bits of berries to them. I feel like it gives it kind of that Christmas winter touch. So um, this might have been last year. It might've been two years ago that I got this. This is from Hearth and Hand. It's one of those like little mini wreaths. I feel like it's really good to put like a candle in the middle. So that might be what I do this year. I also feel like you can kind of hang these up maybe in like a window or something. So again, that beautiful like natural color of green. And then I will put this together for you guys so you can see it here in a second. But this is something that my father-in-law made. He created these and kind of gave them out to family members probably a few decades ago. You know, it's a 90s thing, <laughs> but it is a reindeer and I love this reindeer. My children love this reindeer. Again, this is one of those nostalgic pieces. Maybe it's not in style right now. Maybe it's not the trend to have a wooden reindeer in your house, but my children will grow up and they will remember this wooden reindeer. That's what I want. That's what I want them to remember. I don't want them to remember that mom bought new Christmas decor every year. Well, yes, I definitely add a couple pieces of Christmas decor to my collection every single year. I want them to remember pieces like this, pieces that will bring back those cherished memories of Christmas past. So um, love this guy. And outside of our Christmas tree and our ornaments and our stockings, that's the majority of my decor. Now this year, I would like to definitely add a couple of throw pillows. 
I have loved my throw pillows this fall. I noticed that Hearth and Hand came out with a very similar pillow to their fall line, but for Christmas. So it's kind of that really neutral with the woven green. So that's on my list. And then I do have a couple other little things that I would like to add. I definitely want to decorate a little bit more in our playroom and on my boys' bedroom, and I would like to decorate a little bit more in our master bedroom. So in the past, I've normally just decorated a little bit on our master bedroom, but mainly just in our main living space. But this year, I kind of want to spread it out a little bit more. I don't want it to feel too cluttered, so I'm not going to add a lot, but I will share a very small haul with you guys here coming up in the next couple weeks of the Christmas decor that I do pick up. I think that's it for today. I hope that you guys got some inspiration. Pull those Christmas bins out. See what you already have before you go shopping. Don't feel like you have to buy all new. What you have is probably already amazing and what you have is probably already the things that you love. And don't forget to pull out those really cherished pieces because those really are the things that make Christmas so special. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.